and it continues to say, and he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Can you believe that there is a place in the scripture where the almighty, all-powerful Jesus Christ did not do mighty works? It's a sad, sad case that you're in a position or you're in a place where God's power and his might can move, where you can receive your miracle, your anointing, your blessing, your covering, your deliverance. And it doesn't happen because you simply don't believe. This, this is what I'm trying to picture in my head. You get dressed. No, you, you buy clothes with the intent of wearing them to church. You get dressed. You get up. You eat. You drive your car. You park in a parking lot. You walk in a building to just not believe. Why go through all the motions? Why go through all that? Fight to get in a position in a seat, raise your hand, sing songs, give money, just to not believe? I don't get it. And he did not many works, many mighty works there because of their unbelief. If I'm going to go through all that to get into the building, the, at least I'm going to do is have to put my faith into what the man is saying. Believing that just in case if he's speaking... God is speaking through him that he can touch my life and I can be blessed. Come on, saints. It's time for us to wake up. He did not many mighty works because of their unbelief. All you have to do is believe. If you're going to take the time to go to church, you might as well listen to the preacher and see what he got to say on your behalf. That's why some people come in and go out the same way. What, what, what are you going for? You going so you can say, I went to church? He did not many... Come on, y'all. Let's get it together.